good. The color is coming down. I look like a red lobster yesterday and of course the most epic sentence was I rarely burn. Mm -hmm. Ahoy, this is Zdenka. Filming in low light can be challenging sometimes. We all want that epic video. We all want those beautiful results. So in today's video, I've got five tips so you can nail your technique when it comes to filming in low light. So your result can look like something like this. And by the way, this is also creative camera challenge. Welcome, my name is Zden Kadarla. If you want to learn how to take better photos and videos with the latest gear and possibly participate in creative camera challenges like this one, consider subscribing. Let's start with the gear first. When it comes to camera, I've got here Canon M50. Not much choice here when it comes to camera, but I'm gonna be very picky when it comes to lens. If I would be shooting outdoors, I would not really care what kind of lens I'm using because simply we had lots of light available. But if I'm gonna be shooting in low light, I'm gonna be very picky. And just like in photography, every single person when it comes to photography or video should have at least one prime lens in their camera bag or one fast lens. And those can be very costly except this one. 50 millimeter lens f1.8. I'll use it with Viltrox Speed Booster. The f1.8 aperture will allow me to use lower ISO, so I'm not going to have as much grain in my footage. This 15 to 45 millimeter kit lens is f3.5 to 6.5, which means that I have to use high ISO. The only thing I gotta watch for is the aperture value. If I'm gonna be filming with f1.8 f-stop, that means that only a little tiny portion of the image will be sharp and everything else will be blurry. So the background and the foreground will be blurry. That means also that if I'm gonna be tracking an object, I might lose it very easily. So in this case, I might want to increase the aperture a little bit to perhaps f2.8 or even a little bit higher. If I'm going to film with a zoom lens, if I have it on 70 millimeters, it is good. Aperture is f2.8, so I'm letting lots of light in. However, the more I zoom, the less light I'm going to let in. Aperture is gonna go up, ISO is gonna go up, footage will not look the best. But if you don't have these lenses, you can still do a lot of things to get your video look beautiful. Which actually you still want to do even if you have those prime lenses because anything extra will help to get you amazing result. If you find that it's simply just too dark, Try to move your subject a little bit closer to any available light source. So if you are filming outdoors, look for street lamps or neon signs or window shops where there's a lot of lights coming through. If you are filming indoors, try windows or maybe lamps sitting on a table. You should also have in your camera bag video light. And there are many on the market, cheap to expensive. You can directly mount them on your camera or you can place them around your subject. And I listed a few lights I use in the video description and below the video. 
Other options like reflector panels and mirrors can help as well to keep the ISO as low as possible. There are situations when you might not have access to any available light source and in that case you might actually turn everything to your advantage, you might use the darkness to your advantage to create mystery or silhouette atmosphere. What it means is that you might have interesting background, so you can have that to show in your video and have the object a bit darker. It does bring out mystery, it doesn't have to be all the time about the expression or the face. When it comes to filming in low light, you might not want to film in high frame rates because that will bring the ISO higher. So filming in 60 frames per second it's not the best choice, but it's still better than filming in 120 frames per second. The best option would be to film in 30 frames per second or even better in 24 frames per second. Next thing you want to do is to control a shutter speed and you might not want to go with a fast shutter speed because that will block the light coming into the camera. A good rule of thumb is to double your shutter speed. So if you are filming in 24 frames per second, you might want to use 1 48th of a second. If you are filming in 30 frames per second, you might want to use 1 60th of a second. Basically, doubling the shutter speed will give you the most natural motion blur. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, go. and try to do some serious work. She always gets these. <laughs> There's one more trick you might wanna try. If you are filming not a movement, not a person, if you are filming perhaps interior and you need just a lot more light in, you can slow down the shutter speed. So if you are filming in 30 frames per second, you might slow it down to 1 30th. If you are filming 24 frames per second, you might slow it down to 1 24th. But you have to obviously pan if you are panning very, very, very slowly or if you are just doing a static shot. That might bring a lot more light in. But if you are going to be filming a person moving, then definitely I would do a double shutter speed. So once you apply all those tips and tricks, then your video can look quite nice. Okay, camera challenge time, your turn. Film a B-roll, a video sequence in low light with person, no person, with object, no object, anything goes with lights, no lights, any kind of a story and keep it under one minute. If you are going to be using music, please use only music from Epidemic Sound or Artlist or YouTube royalty free library. Please don't use any other music because I simply cannot verify if it is copyrighted. Also, when you are submitting the video, make sure you put the title of the music um, and the source you got it from. 
You can upload the videos to ZD Camera Challenge Facebook group or Instagram account and use hashtag ZDChallenge15. The deadline is June 30th, 2020, and the most interesting ones will be featured and reviewed in another video, sometimes in July. Hit the thumbs up if you liked today's video and subscribe to more questions, comments. Wanna say hi? Leave it in the comment section below. And I'll see you, my friends, in the next video. Ciao, ahoy!